Hi everyone, I am back with another dumpster dive haul. Not too big this time, but still quite a good amount considering it was all free. So first over here, I got three deli subs. This one is Italian style, if you can read that. This one is Black Forest Ham and Swiss. And this one is Turkey and Swiss. It's nice that they're all different and um, the date on them is the 7th. Today is the 9th, and um, it's really cold outside, so they were nice and preserved, so they will be completely fine to eat within the next few days. Behind that, I got two cases of four ears of corn, so not, or, <laughs> sorry, eight ears of corn. They look fine to me as well. I'm not really sure why these were thrown out, but I've gotten these from the store before in the dumpster. We boiled them up, and they were actually really, really delicious, so that's cool. Over here, two beefsteak tomatoes. Again, these look amazing. They're huge and red. If you can see, I don't know, maybe there's one tiny imperfection on the top right there, but it looks, still looks fine. Right behind that, I got a bag of grapes. Again, these look perfect. There was a lot of grapes in there. I didn't grab more than one because they were a little bit difficult, and I just wanted to get out of there, so I grabbed one. Same with the sandwiches, there were a lot more, but I didn't need more than three. I got a bag of potatoes. I got this a few days ago, I already used some. Made mashed potatoes, it's just the little Yukon Gold. They taste really great. Over here, I got a bag of large lima beans. I've never used lima beans before, I don't even know if I've ever eaten them, so I guess I will give them a shot. Right next to that, I have a bag of Macintosh apples. These look great as well. Maybe one or two squishy ones. Um, I've been wanting to make homemade applesauce, so that's the perfect thing to use these for. Right behind that, I have two tiny little bell peppers and one avocado. There were a lot of avocados in there. Most of them were extremely squishy, so I only took this one, which is pretty firm. And there were also a lot of bell peppers, but I just don't like them that much, so I only take a few. Right behind that is Aunt Jemima's Buttermilk Cornmeal Mix. Probably use that for some baking or something. And then uh, Chiobani Greek Yogurt. I had two of these, I got these a few days ago, actually most of the stuff I got today, but these were a few days ago. Um, if you can see, it says the expiration date was February 6th. Again, it is the 9th today, so these are fine. I got these, I think it was the 5th, so they weren't even expired yet. I had two, I ate one, tasted great. And then next to that is Campbell's Chunky Sirloin Burger and Country Vegetable Soup, I believe. Not really sure about that. I guess I'll give it a shot. Behind that is one grapefruit. Looks pretty tasty. And then a bag of pears. Um, as you can see, these are not the best, especially that one back there, but there's quite a few that are still perfect, so I will enjoy those. And then finally, I got some Hostess snacks. There were a lot more of these in there. I didn't need any more, so I just grabbed these. Um, just some chocolate donuts, some powdered donuts. What is that? Um, frosted orange flavored cake with cream filling, I guess. Devil's Food Zingers, Raspberry Zingers, and then a pack of Twinkies. These are things I would never buy at the grocery store, so I guess they're like a little treat since they were free. And again, these are completely fine. If you can see on this one, it's... it's Best Buy date on the package is February 10th, which is tomorrow for me right now. And they will be fine for quite a while after, considering how processed they are. So, it's a pretty good haul, I think. I went by myself, so I didn't go to too many stores. I only went to, this all came from two stores, so it took me about half an hour. Really quick, really simple. And considering it was all free, I think it looks great. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.